Greetings, Highland Christian Center family. Dr. Sean Nalen here with your COVID update. I know there's a lot of things going on, but I want to tell you the first thing on my mind is you. And I want to make sure you are safe and you are taking care of yourselves. We are praying for you daily. First Lady Madeline and I send our greetings to you and our prayers. Now listen, I know there's a lot going on. People are wondering, uh, when will we open? We see things on the news, even as I record this message, the President of the United States has declared that he wants churches open. Uh, he has told governors that you need to move. Well, listen, we're going to uh, open in the right time. We're gonna follow the signs with faith. And we're going to follow when the CDC and the governor and the mayor and our civic leaders tell us that it is safe to return to worship. In the meantime, I want to make a message uh, myself or send a message myself to all of our city officials, our state officials who may be tuning in to this video, is that when we return, I do expect that we as a church would receive the same kind of guidance that is given to barber shops, gymnasiums, restaurants, movie theaters, and so forth. To tell a church you can come back with a capacity of 10 only or 20 only is not feasible. So I am uh, encouraging our state officials, uh, the governor, Governor Brown, uh, Mayor Wheeler, I'm encouraging you to allow us to come back when we do, when it is safe, to come back at 50% capacity of our seating. I say this because we too, when we come back to worship, and it is vital, it is essential. Uh, the worship is the very fabric of America. Our faith is, is what America is founded on. Let us never forget that. And so when you open bars and restaurants uh, at certain capacities, but you don't open the church at an equal or same capacity, I have a problem with that. And so I will speak out and cry aloud that that is not justice. And so when we do open, we will open under the right guidelines and the right circumstances. But what I want you to know is that we are thinking about the reopening. Pastor Yolanda Roseby, our executive pastor, is leading a task force as we speak and they are forming and strategizing how it would look when we reopen. We will have measurements and checks with the health and wellness at the doors when you enter. We will be requiring you to wear masks as you enter the building. And you will of course have social distancing, seating, rows apart, and in between on the same rows. And so all of these measures are being thought through. You would exit at one exit on the other end. Entry in one level on one area and go out another area. So all of these factors are things we are prayerfully considering and we want you to know your Highland Christian Center team is working around the clock to figure it out for from sanitization to making sure you're safe to wellness checks before you even come in. And again, I am not unmindful that as the African American community, our church is a multicultural church and I am so grateful for that. But we have a predominantly 75% African American audience. And I want to be out of the abundance of caution, really sure it is the right time to come back. Your health, your safety matters the most to me. And I mean it from the bottom of my, of my heart. Well, look, I'm going to end this and I want to thank you for tuning in for this update. So look for more announcements when we're coming back. I have no timeline. We're going to continue to ride out online. Join us online. Join the Bible studies. Join the Zoom meetings. There are so many things you can get involved in. Call the church. I would love to see more people on the prayer line on Thursdays. Call the church. Call the prayer line on Thursdays, 1230. We have another online communion coming up uh, the 7th of June. 
And so the first Sunday in June, we will do another online communion service. And so we are doing it and we're doing it to the glory of the Lord. I'm excited about the new series, uh, The Courage to Stand. Tune in every week, 10 o'clock on our live streaming. Check out our new website that's uh, constantly uh, being improved by our team. Uh, started with Pastor Yolanda, now Elder Aaron Ward phenomenal job with that website. Pastor Cecil Ramey, uh, uh, our communication director, Rez Roberts, uh, and our deacon, Deacon Larry Johnson, all doing a great job on our communications platform. Also, I'm happy uh, to uh, announce to you that we have a new social media team, and we appreciate what everyone is doing and contributing. I'll close with this scripture, and it says, in you, O Lord, I put my trust. This is Psalm 71. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong refuge to which I may resort continually. You have given the commandment to save me. Now listen to this. For you are my rock and my fortress. That's what the Lord is saying to us today. Listen, we are praying for you. We are praying for your families. Some of you have sick among you. And I say, may God's healing power come to your household and bless you right now. Well, God bless you. Thank you for your online support and your continued donations to keep Highland alive. You can text, you can go to PayPal, all the ways you're giving. You can come to the office. You are keeping Highland Christian Center on the move. So thank you for being a part of Highland Christian Center where we are building community and changing lives. God bless you. Highland Christian Center is committed to feeding the hungry. Join us Fridays, 10 a.m. to 12 noon for our food bank. And breakfast is at 8.30 a.m. on Sundays.